to see you all on um live on Richmore Media, Richmore Radio. Asana your baby be a mesre, mesre pa na afe. You click and you subscribe on Richmore Media. I'll just give you a few seconds. Si si ya ubeti mi a click ya subscribe on afe. Be best to say best share link no. Akoma wa dofu bino. Because what we're going to talk about today is very important. Last week we spoke about what the benefits of sleep and walking. Today we're going to talk about the benefits of good nutrition. Um, say e e n e d d m o. Um, faswa linya ewaso abra e d d niya nepa. And also when we don't eat right, so um, niya e dusiya anti mesre. Share the link now to a friend, a family friend. Share the link and let's talk about the benefits of nutrition. Once again, I am so for Malcolm Kwekwe Chi Echampo. Please subscribe. At some point, if you have any questions regarding anything input we've done in the past or something that we are talking about in the current moment, you can ask any questions that you have on 0203-286-9193. 0203-286-9193 or Obitsimia at XTA um, through the YouTube live. Um, I'll be able to get your comments from the YouTube live and um, answer them. So feel free to um, keep your comments coming. As I said, Yabra Yakasa Nina, your best friend, not a fee, Washeri Lincoln. Okay. So, we are talking about the benefits of healthy eating. Benefits of healthy eating. I'm going to mention a few things. And then after, I'll break it down. I'll break it down in, um, in the categories because you want penny for and your adults. And then the, those benefits, some are common, but some can also divert depending on um, the age um, you have. Depend on how old your bones are, etc. We are going to go, we're going to dive straight in. Benefits of healthy eating. The first one is that it helps you live longer. It helps you live longer. And we'll talk about it. We'll talk about why uh, when you eat well, you live longer. It keeps your skin, teeth, and eyes healthy. We're going to talk about it as well. Please make make some notes as well. Maybe someone that you know may not be able to join, but if you take the notes, you can then share it to the person. It supports your muscles. It boosts the immune system. It strengthens the bones. It helps the digestive system. It helps achieve and maintain a healthy weight. Supports healthy pregnancy and breastfeeding. Lowers risk of heart diseases and type 2 diabetes. This is what healthy eating can do. These are all the things it can do for you. Now, we're going to talk about why, why these things are important. So, the first thing, as I said... On um, the benefits of physiotherapy, I do not. I do not like to talk much. I like to give some facts that we can all reflect on. Some basic facts. So I don't like to talk much, but I just want to bring you a few points that you can take for yourself, for your family, for a better living from this day onwards. So the first one is why. Does eating healthy helps us live longer? You know, you would wonder why. But eating healthy helps you live longer because of the different nutrients that are in the foods. And we are going to talk about it because the next one is that it keeps skin, teeth, and eyes healthy. And it links. You live longer because, um, you see, in food, we have things like you heard, like vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C. Uh, vitamin D, vitamin E, you know, you've got things like protein, carbohydrates, 
um, fats, sugars, many things. Food is made of, it contains a whole lot. Impulse, sometimes we are lazy, so we don't do it. But if you buy something and you you see that it has broken down the percentage of all these things in it. And, and this is why I'm going to talk about why we live longer when we eat well. Because, for example, if you take some foods that have too much, for example, carbohydrates, and this is the only thing that you eat. For example, if you keep eating pasta, if you keep eating pasta, pasta is good, but every, like everything, you should be eating in a moderate way. If you keep eating pasta, you will end up having too much carbohydrates in your system, which at some point, no matter how. If the same way, if you eat too much sugar, you know, if you drink too much sugary stuff, the sugars or the bad sugars will pile up and it can give you something. Same as salt. Salt is very good, but excessive salt isn't good neither. That's why, as I said, in everything that we buy, um, they purposely, they, um, they give an account of a, 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 the percentage of every single um, thing that is in that food, whether being carbohydrate, whether being fats, sugars, um, proteins, and all, all the stuff. So for the, my first point is that we will live longer in our foods if we have a balanced diet. So we have a bit of everything. Because that's how God created us. We need a bit of everything. Next point says, well, it keeps the skin healthy. Does anyone know how you keep your skin healthy through foods? I'm sure, um, you know, some some of the youth would um, agree with me that sometimes when, you, you're, when you're stressed, you feel like your skin is breaking out. But there are other things that makes your skin break out. Like, for example, nuts. Nuts. Nuts contains a lot of things that um, affects the skin, for example. And milk. But, for example, pro protein or carbohydrates wouldn't. But um, nuts and things like milk, dairy, will affect your skin directly because of what is in it. So that's why everybody's different. I personally don't have any problem with milk, but some people do. So it's important that sometimes, at least once in your life, you see a dietitian or a nutritionist, and then you, you help um, design a good diet for yourself because diet has a massive, massive, massive impact on how long you live. Many things, many things um, that we do you know, the reason why some people are um, able to live longer is because they took care of their, um, their well-being from an early age. You see, as we're saying, a bit of everything, so too much of everything is bad. And it's the same thing for meats. Meats, you know, as Africans, you know, it's, it's a struggle to not eat meat because, um, you know, you know, if you and Quincy Hall, Jolof, and Nam is is what most of us have grown up with. So it's hard to change from that habit. But the truth is that too much of it will reduce our life expectancy. It's a hard truth. But Yare Bibria Yenyano, if we sign your man Bibria Yedi all the meats and foods that we eat because you know you know you probably would have heard the red meat is not good this is this is no good this is it's solely because it's because of that it's, it's because nutrition is um is complementary to um a good and healthy lifestyle very important so back on what we're saying the skin is affected by the things we and as I, I mentioned few but depending on who you are depending on you and um the things that affect you and your skin 
you can make those inquiries to see what is good and what is bad for you, for your skin. Your teeth, as, as you know, things like charcoal. Charcoal, you see, charcoal is, is nutrition. But charcoal, um, I mean, if you apply on, on your teeth, although it's looking black, actually kept, actually helps in whitening your teeth. That's what you'd see lately with Colgate that um, they, they put um, an addition of Colgate that, that's got charcoal in it because it, it, it helps whiten your teeth. And charcoal is actually very good for the immune system. If, if you if you happen to swallow um, I mean there are even um, charcoal tablets in pharmacies that tells you because it is good indeed and charcoal um, some people make food with it as well and it helps the immune system eyes health I'm sure that I'm um, say that there's probably something one one prob one vegetable that comes to your mind in relation to um the health of your eyes and you probably know you probably didn't know but it's the carrots carrot is one of the main things that helps with eyesight you know because of the nutrients it has so you see if you have if you haven't picked anything today say um for bibia now i said the person the person tells you and say is not just the food itself, but the nutrients. The nutrients that are in that in that soup or in that starch or sa That is what we are talking about. So carrot on its own, you may like it, you may not like it, but the nutrients in the carrot will help your eyesight. Better health. It will be more lubricated and it will get everything, all the nutrients you need to stay healthy for a longer period. Good nutrition is supports the muscles. And at the nutri the nutrient I spoke about earlier is um protein. Protein. If you have good protein intake, it helps the muscle, it helps it grow. Or you'll be now called gym or you work out uh, you find yourself that um, you would have heard some people take protein shakes, protein shakes, you know, just to complement what they do at training. It's because it, it, it does work. Protein supports muscle growth or muscle um, uh, strengthening. Bone as well. Calcium. Calcium, right? Vitamins. You see, there are many things, as I said, for example, milk is very good for the bones. That's why uh, um, there's, you know, the, some people say if you want to grow, drink a lot of milk, because there's a lot of calcium in milk, which is one of the first things that, um, or it's one of the most common things that we know that helps us grow. Next point: it lowers risk of heart disease and type two diabetes. Type two diabetes. Just um, let me remind you that type 2 diabetes is the one that you get. Type 1 is the one uh, and you're born with it. But type 2 is the one that you get because of the intake, nutrition, and all of that. Yes, sugars and the excessive stuff, type 2. And, and some cancers as well, you see. So all these things that we get in our body, can give us all these bad things and on the other side if we have a good plan if we're able to plan well then it actually can help us have a longer life it supports healthy pregnancies and breastfeeding so uh, but I know um, good nutrition is very important because everything that you intake is what the baby will get. That's why we say that a woman that are pregnant should not smoke. Because we are about not um, you smoke uh, all everything that you inhale, all everything you take in, in your system, you're passing it directly to the baby. 
So not, not only you're harming yourself, but you're also harming another human being. So it's very important that um, pregnant, pregnant ladies or breastfeeding ladies take good care of um, the nutrients you get in yourself. In the end, no, please, as I repeat, please keep sharing the link. As Mika and Bibiano, you have to know the right diet for yourself. The right diet for yourself. Because some diets, the diet that is appropriate for me may not be appropriate for you. Because maybe your body max index will show that um, you're obese. Maybe you're not obese. It's just the proportion of your height and your weight that's making you being categorized as obese. But maybe you're not. Therefore, you need a, a plan that works for you. That's why everybody has a different plan. That's why some people go to people like us, physiotherapists or um, uh, personal trainers or, or nutrition coaches to get help from that side. So please, don't feel shy. Feel, be, be, this, this is, this is life-changing. What we are talking about is life-changing. Ms. Rose will be free will be to get some help and advice to get the right um, dietary plan for yourself. Our next point is that it helps the digestive system function. Depending on what you eat, you may be a whoa, udia, or yambe how. But again, it depends on who you are. But there are some things good food can also help in a good digestive system. Because there are some things that you eat. For example, um, there's something that there's um prunes, prunes. As I say, if you are constipated or you you're this you have desperately to go but you can't go they advise prunes because prunes has so much things inside it that that's his job is his job to help you go because of what prunes are made of so you know you start to understand there are many things many many things that's why back home um when someone is ill you know, it's not everybody that can afford even to go to the pharmacy and get medicine. And even, I can even tell you that some medicine are actually made up following our um, um, African, or should I say our, um, you know, um, homemade um, therapies. Some, some med medication, for example, there's some medications that are made up of prunes. You know, we've made prune nutrients just to achieve the same purpose. But, you know, back home, you already have a, no, a lot of knowledge about these things that we can do. And lastly, but not the least, it helps achieve and maintain a healthy weight. If you have good regulation of um, your, your, your body, um, sorry, if you have good regulation, of um, what you eat, of your diet, it helps you have a stable weight and healthy weight as well. But if you eat, if you find yourself eating anything the whole week, will be the McDonald's, the whole week will be the KFC, then you should not be surprised. You should not be surprised that you put on kilos. Or if you have very, very high sugar intake, then you shouldn't be surprised that you have um, one day you have symptoms of um, of um, diabetes. So, as they say, that's basically the same thing. It goes with nutrition. Whatever we, whatever we take in our body, we will have an account. We'll have an account of it at some point. So, I'm going to repeat one more time in case if anyone anyone missed anything. But please keep sharing the link. Uh, and there will be opportunities for people to call. Feel free to call. And um, let's learn together. Let's save lives. Let's um, help each other to live longer lives with these crucial informations. So I repeat, if you have a balanced and healthy lifestyle, healthy diets suitable to you, it will help you live a longer life. It will help you keep a clearer and healthy skin, teeth, 
and eye health. It will support your muscles. It will boost your immunity. It will strengthen your bones. It will lower the risk of heart diseases and type 2 diabetes and some cancers. It will support healthy pregnancies and breastfeeding. It will help your digestive system and it will help you achieve and maintain and regulate your weight just as you wish. Um, it's my prayer that we've kept those information safe in our minds and in our hearts so we can grow with them and help each other with them. So thank you once again. I'll just leave a few minutes. Please feel free to call if you have any questions about what we learned now or anything we've done in the past. We'll be happy to answer. We'll just hang around a few minutes. If not, it will be, um, we'll give you um, a good night and a good evening. A good morning, um, depending on where you're listening from, from Richmore Radio, Richmore Media. You can um, you can text us on Facebook if you're watching, or if you're going to catch up later. If you have a question, it's not late. You can find us on Richmore Media on Facebook, and you can just give any inquiries that you have. Or you can call us right now on 203 203-286-9193. Three. Wait. You just give some time. Anyone wants to call, you are welcome to. Feel free to call. Remember, we are talking about life changing information life-changing information that will help you your siblings your family don't keep it to yourself Impo said want to meet you fully crime make sure you go back from the beginning and get all the info share it to your friend share it to everyone because everyone needs to hear these things even if you know it even if you even if you know it, someone that already knows it a bit of a reminder is not too much so feel free. Okay, we're not getting any messages, any calls. Just give it a bit of time. Feel free to call. Feel free to call. Feel free to ask any questions that you have. It's very important. Very serious topics that will expand your life expectancy. So I'll just give a few more room for one minute. Feel free to ask anything. If not, it's not too late as well. You can find us on which more media on Facebook and you can text us and we will um, attend your needs as soon as we can. So if we're not getting anything, no message, no calls, then um, we will leave you here. Um, once again, it was your humble servant, Malcolm Kweku Entry, a champong, live on Richmore Radio, Richmore Media. It was a pleasure to share this, but the benefits of nutrition. And it's my prayer that, as I said, everything that we've spoken about has been assimilated in our hearts and in our minds. So that we can apply all these advices from today from today make sure that you impact your life positively with what we've learned about get yourself a nutritionist get yourself checked bmi and see the things that are good for you things that are bad for you the things that are healthy for you that are not healthy for you and you 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 will testify you will testify as you keep living so thank you so much. Once again, thank you. And we will meet next week. Thank you.